When we push the boundaries of computation, we step into realms that challenge not only our understanding of technology but also the very nature of reality itself. Google's Willow Quantum Chip is not just a scientific breakthrough, it's a spark that fuels deep philosophical debates about how the universe works. In contrast to traditional computers, which process information using bits, either zero or one, quantum computers like Willow use qubits, which can exist in multiple states at once. Thanks to the principles of quantum mechanics, qubits can occupy a superposition, meaning they can represent both zero and one at the same time. This isn't just a clever trick, it's a fundamental shift in how we think about processing information. On top of that, qubits can become entangled, allowing the state of one to influence another instantly, even across vast distances. This mysterious phenomenon allows quantum computers to evaluate countless possibilities simultaneously. This parallelism is what gives quantum machines their extraordinary potential. While classical computers move through one possibility at a time, quantum systems can explore a whole landscape of options in a single calculation. With 105 qubits, the Willow chip recently performed a complex task in under 5 minutes a problem that would take the most powerful classical supercomputer roughly 10 septillion years to solve. That's not just fast. It's revolutionary. Quantum systems, however, come with challenges. Qubits are extremely delicate. The slightest interference from the environment, like a stray vibration or change in temperature, can introduce errors that ruin a computation. Traditionally, the more qubits you added, the worse the error problem became. At a certain point, it made the system behave more like a classical computer, stripping away its quantum advantage. What makes Willow remarkable is that it overcomes this challenge. It introduces below threshold error correction, meaning that as more qubits are added, the error rate actually drops exponentially instead of increasing. This achievement makes Willow not only more reliable, but also scalable. It sets a foundation for future machines that can solve meaningful problems across industries, not just in the lab. The Willow chip's success has reignited a debate that goes beyond circuits and software. Hart Nevin, who leads Google's quantum AI program, suggested that Willow's performance supports the idea that quantum computation taps into multiple parallel universes. This controversial interpretation aligns with the many worlds view of quantum mechanics originally proposed by Hugh Everett in the 1950s and later popularized by physicist David Deutsch. According to the Many Worlds interpretation, every quantum event causes the universe to branch. So, when a qubit collapses into a definite state, like zero or one, it doesn't choose. Instead, the universe splits, and in each branch, a different outcome becomes reality. In this view, Quantum computation may be happening across countless universes simultaneously. Each possible outcome gets explored in a different reality, and somehow, the final answer we see is the result of all those computations aligning. It's a mind-bending concept. Imagine a quantum computer solving a problem by accessing a multiverse of parallel versions of itself, each trying out a different piece of the puzzle. The final answer emerges in our universe not by calculating step by step, but by tapping into the total effort of all these worlds working in parallel. It sounds like science fiction, but for some physicists, it's a genuine possibility. Still, not everyone agrees. Many scientists believe there's no need to bring multiple universes into the picture to explain quantum mechanics. They argue that the same results can be achieved under the Copenhagen interpretation, a more conservative view where the outcome of a quantum event is truly random and doesn't split the universe. Critics like Ethan Siegel emphasize that the equations of quantum mechanics are powerful enough to describe what's happening without resorting to metaphysical assumptions. Willow's performance may not prove the multiverse, but it certainly makes us wonder. Whether or not quantum computers tap into alternate realities, the chip's success proves something real and immediate. Quantum computing is no longer just a theoretical dream. It's becoming a functional, practical tool that will reshape how we solve problems, analyze data, and perhaps, one day, understand ourselves. 
One of the most pressing fields that quantum computing may transform is cryptography. Today's security systems rely on problems that are hard for classical computers to solve, such as factoring large numbers. A mature quantum computer could crack these problems in seconds, making current encryption obsolete. This raises an urgent need for quantum-resistant algorithms that can withstand these new threats. In drug discovery and material science, quantum simulations could revolutionize how we create new medicines and materials. By simulating interactions between molecules with unprecedented accuracy, researchers could identify treatments for diseases more quickly or develop new materials with properties we've only imagined. In these fields, classical computers often fall short because the calculations are simply too complex. Artificial intelligence might also evolve dramatically through quantum computing. Machine learning models depend on analyzing vast amounts of data and optimizing countless parameters. Quantum algorithms could analyze patterns far more efficiently than classical systems, potentially enabling leaps in how we understand language, vision, and decision-making. Optimization problems, like routing delivery trucks or managing power grids, could also become faster and more efficient. Subscribe to our channel and thanks for watching.